Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess, and this is Pisces energy. So someone could be very quiet right now, but this person is seeking some sort of guidance. They could also be getting some sort of um, spiritual kind of readings. They could be getting tarot readings. There's this feeling of really trying to understand a situation, but they're, usually, they're using a more uh, feminine approach here. So this person isn't pursuing right now, but they are still thinking a lot. This person is very intense on the inside with this card, but from the outside, you wouldn't be able to tell. This can be someone who's very calm on the exterior, but they feel very strongly here. They're very stuck on this, and they may even be having dreams about you. They're trying to trust their intuition when it comes to this, but there is this feeling of this person appearing quite a mystery to you. You probably haven't heard from this person or you're in a no contact with this person. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Two of Swords, Air Energy, Seven of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Hermit, Virgo Energy. So again, it's like this energy of someone who has retreated. They, they've gone within. They are taking time to study the situation because this person actually feels very fearful. And with the Two of Swords, they are also indecisive. They're not sure of how to move forward. So they really are trying to avoid making the wrong decision. So I do see them putting off taking any action right now. The Seven of Pentacles is showing that there's going to be a need for patience here because there's that energy of things moving very slowly here. So let's clarify these cards on um, Virgo. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hierophant, and this is Taurus energy. So there's again this energy of wanting to do the right thing, trying to learn from something, trying to implement a lesson here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Three of Cups, Water energy, the Knight of Pentacles, Earth energy, and the Nine of Wands, Fire energy. So there's again a very careful energy on this person's side, moving very, very slowly here. Uh, the Nine of Wands is showing that they feel guarded and this Two of Swords as well. It's like there's a deep fear of getting hurt or, or making the wrong decision. So they want to invest in this, but they want to first make sure. Um, the Three of Cups being here does show that you will reconcile with this person. There will be some sort of reunion. Um, there's some sort of getting together and um, agreeing on something that fits both parties. Um, but it does look like this person is still going to take time and they are in solitude right now. And they are thinking about this a lot. Um, you know, they think about you night and day. This is someone who um, they care and that's why they're taking their time. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, um, Virgo. have confidence is your key to success new moon in leo okay so there's definitely um this feeling here of letting giving this person space and time and being confident enough to know that this person will return to you they will get back to you with this three of cups it does look like some sort of mutually beneficial outcome taking place here even though it may be delayed okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you Okay, we have engagements. Your love life is 
ascending to a higher level of commitment and we have the higher friend so this person could want to commit to something but they they're thinking long and hard first before making any um expression of commitment or offer because they they are taking this so seriously okay so i'm gonna plot another card for you virgo Okay, we have dangerous pleasure the secret of reaping the greatest fruitfulness and the greatest enjoyment from life is to live dangerously so this person is trying to figure something out they they could even be getting advice you know we have the hierophants and the high priestess it's like trying to it's like this person is trying to play it safe they're seeing something as being potentially a bit of a risk um but there's it's like they're being just very cautious here okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for you um a card for your advice, Virgo. Okay, we have surrender to receiving support and love. Allow the love and spirit of others in, rather than trying to, to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. Okay, so I do see someone is wanting to offer you love and support. They want to offer you some sort of commitment. But for whatever reason, they feel like it's not the right time. They need more time. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Virgo. I hope you have a really, really good day, Virgo. Bye, Virgo.